Hi everyone, welcome to the show. I'm Patrick Stinson. And I'm Kylie Erica Marr. In order to boost sagging attendance, an exotic theme park creates a brand new genetically modified dinosaur in Jurassic World. Great plan, right? Totally. Hi, I am Bryce Dallas Howard. You are watching Made in Hollywood and I would like to introduce a clip from my new film, Jurassic World. Every time we've unveiled a new attraction, attendance has spiked. That was awesome. Corporate felt genetic modification would up the wow factor. They're dinosaurs. Wow enough. When shooting this film, you're yes. dealing with these dinosaurs. Now, my understanding that it's just like a metal pole with a tennis ball on it. Essentially what that does is creates what's called an eye line, which is something to fo that all actors can focus on. So we're, because because there's nothing there, we need to make sure we're all looking at the same thing. A new light bulb on a stick. Yeah. Huge, uh, huge metal pole. Sometimes a grip, like holding, yeah. you know, a tennis ball or a piece of tape or something. Yeah. Um, but no dinosaurs. That's the raptor's point of view? Yeah. Or are you following the raptor? Yeah. We can do either thing. There were a lot of different things on set that helped us to imagine the dinosaurs. First and foremost, Colin, the, the co-writer and director of this film, ensured that, that the majority of the sets were, were built. In this film, we had them in the jungle and we had, we had, we built this theme park, we built that set and so they were there and they were able to, to have a sense of environment in place and, and also relationships with each other that allowed them to, to build characters that, that I, hopefully people will, will love. Cut, that was really good. And then ultimately, yeah, there were, there were definitely a lot of moments where we were looking at nothing and it was supposed to be a dinosaur. But I think because of all the other elements and, and tools that Colin had given us, we didn't really feel out to see, like there was something that we could hold on to. Yep, that's it. As the director, when you are taking on a film of this magnitude, where do you start? You start uh, with the question of why, like why do we need to make another Jurassic Park movie? I think the very reason why they are making another Jurassic Park movie is the reason why they would build Jurassic World, which is for a giant corporation to make a lot of money. She was designed to be bigger than the T-Rex. What happened to the sibling? She ate it. I loved your character, Claire, because she starts off one way, and then I feel like she becomes something like what I believe all women should be. Yeah. Like this, I love the power of her, and I love the fact that this is not only an action film, but it has interesting story and interesting characters like Claire. Well, thank you. Yeah. I mean, I when I read the script, you would think that you're seeing a woman who is empowered, um, but in in truth, in the beginning of the film, she's very out of touch with her own values. She's out of touch with her humanity. As the story evolves, so does she. And, and ultimately, by the end of the movie, you know, she's kind of stripped away of, of everything, Dad! but has reconnected with her, with herself and her humanity and her greatest strength. Action! You have a film of any size, but especially of this size, and you don't have people who feel real, who you care about, you don't care if anyone eats them. It's especially important with our lead, with, with Bryce Dallas Howard and uh, as Claire. And you know, I found that character to be the absolute linchpin of the whole thing. And the movie starts with her and it ends with her. Something's wrong. They're communicating. We're talking about an animal here. In the process of shooting this film, is there something that you had to get used to? Yeah, I had to get used to shedding this sort of goofiness that I typically have in real life. <laughs> Stunts 101, always warm up. Got it, yeah. let's go. Having fun and goofing around a lot is something I kind of can't turn off, and so in order to create this character, I had to take that away from who I am. According to my watch, I just ran 65 miles an hour. Probably the fact that there weren't actually dinosaurs there. And yeah. The fact that there was nothing to actually play off of. I was excited about seeing dinosaurs and then I went on set <laughs> and I realized there's nothing there. I was sad. Action! My biggest challenge was, was the screenplay and, and was finding a, a story that that wasn't just people running away from dinosaurs on an island. So in this movie, uh, you know, we we create uh, something that's it, a dinosaur. It's all right to try and kill, uh, and and uh, a real need uh, to to save people and to help people and and for all these characters to be heroes.